Here we are again. This is Brandon, also known as PokeFanBran, coming to you with the next part in our Silver Tempest series. In the first two parts, we opened the two Japanese sets that came together to make part of Silver Tempest. In the third, we opened a booster box. And in the fourth, we opened an ETB. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is to see which product is going to give me the better pulls. It may not necessarily apply to other people because I might get a better box or a better ETB, but I'm just curious what's going to be best for me. In the description below, you will see the poll percentages of what we've opened already and what is coming. So in this episode here, we are going to be opening the booster bundle or the mini booster box, which is six packs. All right, everybody, let's get into it. So first off, let's look at the box itself. So like I said, this contains six packs. Now this is the second time the Pokemon is doing this. They did it initially with Lost Origin, and now they do it again with Silver Tempest. This is a good option for people that maybe can't afford to buy a full 36 pack booster box. It gives them the opportunity to get the booster box experience. Now if I can remember how to open it, that'd be great. Oh. Nice Lugia artwork on the box. And inside, as I said, six packs. Let's look at the artwork. We have the Regilecki artwork, Regidrago, Alolan Vulpix, Lugia, and a second Regilecki and Regidrago. Now let's get into it and let's see what we can pull out of this. First up, we have the Regilecki pack. We have a Sandy Gast, a Relicanth, a Halucha, a Rufflet, Drowsy, Fennekin Reverse, and a Zygarde, non hollow. Next up we have the Reggie Drago pack. Now that this set has been out for, well, re official release was the 11th, but myself along with a lot of other people received it two or three days early. I think I actually received my order four days early. So let me know below the best card you've pulled so far. For me it would probably be, there's a Lugia V-Star in there and some other cards I like more, because Lugia is my favorite Pokemon that's a legendary. But that gold request is actually pretty cool. We have a Sandal to start Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum, Baltoy, Matang Reverse, and Keldeo. Even though the Keldeo and the Zygarde are not hollows, I'm happy to pull them because both those cards were actually missing from my main set. As I said in the last, I'm actually trying to complete the main set, which isn't that difficult. But I, like I said, I don't, I can't be, be buying thousands of packs to try and complete the full set. So we're going to go for the main set and any, anything on top of that that we get that's extra would just be uh, cool. Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat, Elgum, Fungus, Ariados Reverse, and a Cherakian Hollow. So as, as I said before, we're trying to see what's going to give me the best pulls. I'm not counting hollows. I'm only counting Vs or higher and trainer galleries. We have a Dupiter, Spinda, Phoebus, Noibat, Snowrunt, Wallace Reverse, and a Superior Beastar. We'll go through any pulls at the end as well. Get a proper look at them. Oh, 
Latchling, Chimchow, Bebus, Fennekin, Beldum, oh, Swordward and Shilbert, decent card, and a Cling Cling as the rare. So, so far, two. Get a little organized here so you guys can see what we have. And now on to the last pack. Let's see what we can get. We have a Meditite, a Dupiter, Ponyta, Ponyta again, Venonat, Sandal Reverse, and a Regilecki V. I do have that card already, but an extra is appreciated. That way I can pick which one is better to potentially send off to grading. So that is our six packs. Let's run through what we got. We have a Keldeo, which was missing from my main set. We have a Zygarde, also missing from my main set. We have a Superior V-Star. I do have the Rainbow already. Did not have that. Swordward and Shilbert. Do not know where the rare went from that pack. Oh, the tracking. I do have that. Probably four or five of those already. And from the last pack, we got the Regilecki V. So that is three out of six. So 50%. Not bad. Like I said, maybe I just got a good one. Maybe someone else will get a better one. It's not accurate for everybody. I'm just curious what which product is going to be treating me the best. So that is our video for the day. It is a shorter one. The last couple of videos were 20 minutes plus long, but those were larger videos like the booster box and the ETV. So like I said, that is this video. Um, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. If there's anything you'd like me to open that is releasing or released, let me know. I do have a lot of stuff on the shelf and down below the shelf. The next stuff to be opened is gonna be this tomorrow. This is the Build and Battle kit. This is what people got for, during the pre-release events. I just got mine a couple days ago because I didn't go to any pre-release events. I do also have a Build and Battle Stadium on the way, but that is not releasing until the 24th, I believe. So when that comes, we will open it. And in the meantime, to fill the slots, I have an Arceus V-Star UPC, and I have the EV Evolutions Premium Collection. Both were uh, GameStop exclusive products, and I have multiple, so I'm curious what's inside, so we're going to get those opened as well. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.